case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1962, the Supreme Court of the United States heard the case of United States v. Sampson, which centered on the use of mail in fraudulent schemes. A group of individuals were accused of scamming victims by making false promises to help them obtain loans or sell their businesses in exchange for an advance fee. Once the money was received, the scammers would convert it to cashier's checks and send an acceptance letter and form to lull the victims into thinking that the promised services would still be provided. The charges against the accused were based on the allegation that they had created a well-integrated long-range plan to defraud their victims using various techniques, such as propaganda and salesmen. The defendants were indicted on multiple counts, and the court had to decide if the allegations in the indictment were sufficient to permit a jury to find that the mails were used for the purpose of executing the fraudulent scheme. The district court initially dismissed 34 counts of mail fraud, as well as the conspiracy count, stating that the scheme had been fully executed before the mails were used. However, the Supreme Court reversed this decision, finding that the use of mail was an integral part of the fraudulent scheme and had occurred in pursuance of a previously formulated plan. Therefore, it could be considered part of the execution of the scheme under the mail fraud statute. As a result, the Supreme Court reinstated the 34 dismissed counts of mail fraud and ruled that the conspiracy count should not have been dismissed. The case was then remanded for further proceedings, setting a precedent for the use of mail in fraudulent schemes. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lsd.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.